Hello, it's Bryce here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So last time, we did this extremely difficult shrine. Actually, I remember it quite being easy. Now let's talk to Lady Impa. Oh, Link, thank you again for your help with the balloon. I believe there's something related to geoglyphs somewhere within this temple. I'm searching, but so far it's been in vain. The chambers here are enormous, so it'll be a difficult task at best. Where could it be? Or could it be indeed? Well, there is still a whole bunch of this temple to explore. So, I am excited. Wait, is this the entrance? No, we've been heading this way the whole time. So, you'd think there'd be more to it, like an obvious puzzle that we need to solve. Or like an obvious interior or something. So far, not really seeing anything. Oh, this looks like something. Yeah, this definitely looks like something. This is some kind of puzzle. Or it's just some statues. Ooh, thunder lines. Oh no, are we gonna encounter gloom? I sure hope not. Just in case, I believe we may have some portable pots left. Um, okay, I don't trust this chamber. Oh look, those are the different geoglyphs. We haven't found most of those, but I do recognize the one that we actually found. Ah, this place. Oh. Lady Impa, let's head down. We must yeah. investigate up close. There upon the walls. Are those not geoglyphs? Hmm, what could this mean? Hmm, I believe one we saw first was geoglyph on the left edge of the wall. As for the next painting, according to the floor map, it's near Ritu Village. It seems the locations of other geoglyphs for the wall are marked on the floor map as well. I can hardly believe what my eyes behold. Who could have guessed this old ruin still had such secrets? It is said that the geoglyphs appeared all over Hyrule during the upheaval when Princess Zelda went missing. Hmm, how are they connected to these images here? There's no time to dwaddle. Let us hurry investigate the remaining geoglyphs. Oh, Lady Impa, perhaps we should rest a bit before such a trying journey. Link, if you happen to see your geoglyph during your travels, I urge you to investigate this matter as well. If more strange visions are waiting at the other geoglyphs, just like the one you already experienced, well, perhaps they'll provide clues that could lead us to Princess Zelda. The Dragon Tears has been updated. Inside the Forgotten Temple. The Geoglyphs. Since these Geoglyphs appear in various places, we have 10 Geoglyphs left to investigate. Okay, good to know. So that's it. I thought there was like one or a dungeon or something. You know? But it just seems to be a normal temple. Although there was a little bit of difficulty of getting over here but there is if we ever need to farm for good weapons we know a good area to go for good weapons of course if i ever need to get weapons for some reason i'll do that kind of stuff off camera now we didn't really see anything else we could do in this temple really except for this unless this means something it looks like something in Something to do with the statues. Can we ultra hand these statues? Maybe move them? Nope. Can we use recall? Nope. Fusion. Nope. I don't see anything that will help us solve that puzzle. If there is a puzzle right there. Honestly, think there isn't. How did we loop again? Okay, I went the wrong way. Anyways, we're not going to even be able to climb up, so let's see, where's the closest, um, well, we know where we need to head to. We need to head to Ritu Village. So let's open up our adventure log. Let's go to Regional Phenomena, and this should point us out to Ritu Village, which is over here. Yeah, that's definitely Rito Village. It's across this chasm, so we should take this one to this shrine. 
and then we should be able to reach reach a village very simply. At least that's the hope. Alrighty, we are back. For some reason I got interrupted and then I accidentally ended the recording, but luckily for you, you probably won't be able to notice the difference because I'll just combine the two recordings. Anyways, okay, where were we heading? We're heading over to here. So we're just trying to find a trail. I am very lost with that trail. Um, okay. We're right next to the trail. For some reason, I always think the map is like to scale in terms of our movement, but it really isn't. Okay, the snow field stable. Perhaps we should mark the one that we're heading towards with a, with a uh, marker, just in case if I forget. So the red pin, that's gonna be Rita Village. Because what if I accidentally headed in the wrong direction? And since I'm terrible at navigation, that's probably something I would do. Ooh, I think there's a camp over there. Oh, and an ice wizard. Uh-oh. Ooh, but I know how to deal with ice wizards. It's by using fusion. Ooh, I wonder if we could recall their magic. That'd be interesting. Let's find out. Of course, first we gotta actually engage with the ice wizard. How many arrows we got? We got 75 arrows, so we are good on that. So let's just... Seriously, how did you dodge that shot? That was a perfect shot, too. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Take that. Okay, let's try using recall. Nope, you cannot recall the ice magic. Good to know. Okay, there we go. Oh. Not good, not good. Oh, why did you spawn an uh, ice keys too? Uh oh, okay. Okay, what we need to do is get um, a powerful weapon out. Like maybe our ice breath Lysel spear. Cause we're gonna need a lot of range on this dude. Oh, you, you summon ice keys, that's why I can't recall. That absolutely makes sense. Okay. We need to make sure that we're right next to it when it appears. Okay, of course it's mean the ice magic. Well, that makes sense. Ooh, it's down. Ah, oh, all right. That was so close. Okay, perhaps we should switch to a different spear. Okay, the Reaper. Oh, we don't have another spear-like weapon. Except for the, um, the breath spear. So we're just gonna have to use it, despite it being immune. Okay. There we go. Perfect. But this is gonna be great, because we can get... Ooh, a sapphire sword. An average sword. Used by large travelers. Okay. Is it like an elemental weapon? Because if so, we'll just throw out the 30 stick. It is, but what is attached to it that makes it elemental? That's what I'm wondering. Anyways, I guess we'll switch back to this hammer. Also, we need to eat some food. We got plenty of food, luckily. Some more fruit should add to it. Now, we should really try to head towards certain shrines. But first, let's find out where that campfire was. Oh wait, I think I just realized. That wasn't a campfire. What I was seeing was the sun. That explains everything. Okay. So what I need to do is not head towards that because it's probably a trap. Oh, there's the campfire I'm seeing in the distance. I don't think it's a base camp. I think it's um, a people area, which is good because it goes back onto the trail, which, you know, I have trouble staying on paths in video games. This is the kind of game you just can go off path and you find such wonderful things. Oh, you're that guy from before. I'm putting present odds in here too. I've eaten a special rice ball. I made so this cold water won't get to me. But I can't stand here forever. I got many more signs. This better bad. I didn't know what to do. 
I'll leave you to it. There's gotta be some kind of mission we could do with that dude, but I can't figure it out for the life of me. Unless we make some kind of support structure, and I know we tried making a support structure last time, but it didn't quite work. But we have like individual beams this time. So the idea here is that we like glue all the beams together in like a diamond shape, I think. There we go. And you take this. And we'll glue it like that. So it kind of makes like a house structure. That way it won't fall. At least that's the hope. There we go. And then take one last beam right here. Okay, let's see if this will work. Okay, sort of, but then we need to attach, um, this, like that, and then we attach it right here as well, and hopefully this will hold it together. Okay, although I think it might still fall, honestly. Okay, let's talk. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I thought it was gonna fall to the side. If it's gonna be like that, fall like that, then that should support it. And it fell the other way. I see how it is. I got a different idea. I just want to solve this puzzle because I feel really bad for not doing it every single time. Okay. So here's the next idea. That one was a silly idea. But this one ought to work. So we're going to create some beams, right? And we're going to put this right underneath the sign like that and then we're going to take this and put it right next to the sign like that perfect then we're going to take this and put the other beam okay let's just rotate this up like that like one of these you should probably support the behind the sign next like that there we go so if it falls it'll lean on that and we could just use one of these right here okay I don't like how the rotating works sometimes let's get confused on how to rotate it straight so just dropping it like that is easier uh oh why do you have to be in the way? Okay. Let's try this. You're right there. And then put it right here. Attach that. Perfect. This isn't gonna work. I already know it isn't gonna work. Put this as close to the sign as possible. Then we get the last one and put it over there. Then we make a hat for the structure. Okay, I can't quite see where it's going. It's right here. Why is this leaning? Should be leaning like that. It's odd. 
There we go. That's straight. Put it right there. Oh, I see why it's leaning. Okay, now all we need to do is support it for this side. And my idea is to attach a board right there. Okay, let's try this. Oh, it fell diagonally. That's it. I'm done with this puzzle. It's evil. And I will no longer participate in it. Oh well. Win some, you lose some. I wonder if there's like tree monsters with these big trees. That's why I'm looking at the trees all vigilantly. Well, that's definitely a camp. But what are those flying enemies? And they seem to want to drop rocks on us, which means we need to use recoil. I have never seen those dudes before. They must be new to this game. Okay, let's just try getting closer to the camp. See if we can take these dudes out. Okay, are you serious? Why am I such a terrible shot? I used to be really good with the bow and arrow. Ah, uh, that was a waste of a fire arrow. I need to get closer, I guess. Great, drop the rock on me. Wait, now they're getting way close. Oh, but we also alerted the book problems. I did not want... Oh, that's not even a rock, that's a snowball. Aw, oh, it got destroyed before I was able to recall it. Whoa. Okay, let's just try spinning. Ooh, you got white shoot you jelly? I can use that to make an elemental. Put throwing snowballs at me. Okay, this is way more dangerous than I first thought. Okay, let's just get a bomb arrow. Or we could get a frost arrow right here. Yes! Frost arrow is the way to go. That's why they give us the choo-choo jelly. Boop! Frost arrow. Absolutely wrecked. Okay, it looks like we just have a boba cobblum left, which are often the easiest to deal with. The Arakuda ring, a large wide Arakuda wing, arrows and thrown weapons fly further with this item attached, even in slight wind. Arakuda eyeball, his eyeball is constantly trying to focus on his targets, cook it with a critter to make an elixir, or attach it to an air to grant a homing quality to the arrow. Oh cool! Homing arrows is actually going to be pretty useful. Okay. Let's just grab this in the Highland Pine Zone. Okay, now you, you're about to get wrecked. Bow versus bow. And you, you got wrecked. Ooh, you got some chill shrooms over here. It was definitely worth taking out this camp, despite having to deal with new enemies. I did not mean to hurt that harmless tree. Yeah, I don't really want the book of bow. Okay. Awesome, we should grab more of this stuff. So with the eyeball, you can make homing, and the horn thingy is used to increase range. Interesting. Well, I feel like a homing shot would be really good. Especially when it comes to that dragon. And I'm not going anywhere near there. That looks like some gloom over there. I want to see what these robots are doing over here, though. Seriously, they're just chilling out right there. Ooh, we got an ice keys. Okay, we should probably get something long ranged. Well, keys aren't that powerful. We'll should we get the spear? Boop. Thank you very much. Ice keys wing and ice keys eyeball. Now, my question is what exactly are these enemies doing here? They've got to be hiding some secrets. Because we don't normally see robots down in Hyrule. It's a thing. Oh, they're powerful. Okay, let's try using a better weapon. And then we could do a charge up right there. And then boom, 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 boom. 
Dab, dab, dab. Out. Okay. Oh no, they do a lot of damage too. Okay. Okay. That one. Oh, these ones are weak. The the main one was dangerous. Okay. I got it. Let's see if they drop anything useful. Ooh, Captain Construct two horns. Sharp blade like horn with a split tip that easily slices through anything it touches. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase attack power. Plus 15 fuse power? Yes, please. We need to find a weapon to attach that to right away. Oh, looks like all our weapons are fusion weapons. This, like, weak ice key spear we should get rid of. How much damage does this wooden stick do? Now we'll just keep it, and then when we find the next weapon, we'll fuse it with that. Yeah, that's a, that's a better idea. Let's break open these crates for now. Ooh, a blackened crab. A whole crab, slow roasted in its shell. Nice. Some arrows. Very useful. Some stick. Silver construct on and zonite charges. Strong construct bow. What kind of bows do we have? Strong construct bow. Well, it's definitely going to be better than this one. Let's drop that one and pick up this strong construct bow. It's no, not as good as our dragon bone boca bow, though. But I guess that's to be expected. Arrows. Nothing really too useful. But yeah, there are were there are some ice fruits that are hiding over there. So that's good. That's good at least. Ooh, is there anything underneath the rock? You gotta pick up every single rock. Because there could be some Korok hiding. You never know. Okay. So let's move this. This, this, this. This could be used for used recall. Does anybody use recall on that? I don't think we can with the thing. Okay, anyways. No, we can't use recall on that. These mysterious rocks continue to intrigue me. I don't know why. I'm just like, these rocks must mean something, right? They're scattered everywhere, and some of them, they fly up into the sky to help you reach stuff in the sky. But it's been a while since I've seen them. The last one I saw was near that evil dragon. Which was extremely scary. And I do not appreciate any evil dragons. Okay. Well, I need to be extremely careful, because you never know what could be hiding out in this scary part of the snow. It could be anything, really. Statues? Are these the kind we can pray to? Doesn't seem to be. Can we pick them up? Okay, now there I go hitting the wrong button. Yeah, I can pick them up. Okay, good. Here we have our wood. Some wood. We could make a vehicle if we really wanted to. I don't see why we would though. I guess since it's a downward slope. Yeah, wh why not? Let's just have a little fun. Make a, a vehicle real quick. We have the parts. They're just not going to be powered. So as soon as we build it, it's going to move. Oh, here's one that's half built already. Perfect. We just need to put on two more wheels and then put it in the correct position. See, I like that. The game clearly wants us to have some fun. Or we could shield surf. Uh oh. No, my vehicle. Come back, my friend. Okay. Well, I guess we get to watch it have fun. Well, we can't have fun. Okay, traveling down would have been a lot faster if we'd actually taken. Oh, the Tabantha Village Ruins. Oh no. The Tabantha Village Ruins. Not good. If only we were here to save them. 
Too bad. Now I'm gonna take all of your loot. Oh. Kite shield. Leader Warriors cherish this shield. Its unique shape in design with midbit all flying in mind to facilitate aerial combat. Ooh, good. Mm, we should probably get rid of this old wooden shield. Yeah, I definitely will. We don't need it. Now, as for anything else around here, the boxes, those can contain useful items. Ooh, another chest. What is it? Soldier's broadsword. I actually don't want that, honestly. We could probably make a really powerful weapon if we fused it with the Soldier Contract Horn 2, but I don't think it will do that. There's lots of good loot. Honestly, mostly arrows is what I'm after. Arrows are really good. And if you ever encounter a really good, powerful boss, arrows are always the way to go. Wait a second. Doesn't that look like a geoglyph? Sort of does. But it looks like it's on a hillside instead of being directly straight. But something broke. Wait. Okay, for a second I thought something came out of there, but something's throwing something at me. But the question is, where is it? Is it above us? Is it below us? Is it that? I'm really confused. Where is the enemy that's throwing stuff at us? I don't know. Yeah, this definitely looks like a geoglyph. It has to be. It's a bunch of strange markings on a rock. But the real question is, do I need to do the quest in order to get the tier to appear? Or do I need to see it in its entirety to get the tier to appear? Because in the original mission, we used the high air balloon to view it. Oh, there's some bokoblins right there. That explains everything. What we're going to do is we're going to go in. We're going to sneak in. And get some shots in like that. Then we'll slam. Because this one looks super powerful. Ooh, nice. Oh, I... Okay, apparently do not strike Choo Choo Jelly because it freezes. Good to know. Okay, where's the other enemy? Okay, there you are. Are you trying to sell some ice fruit? Oh, I need to be careful. I need to be super careful. I forget, enemies are still actually something I need to worry about. Ooh, but we got a bunch of ice fruit, which is really good. So let's grab the horn and a blue bokoblin horn. Nice. What is that? Soldier's Claymore. That's actually pretty good. Let's see, what is our weakest weapon here? It's a sapphire sword. Oh, I see. It's a sword combined with a sapphire, so it has an elemental effect. Oh, cool. Good to know. Anyways, let's throw this out. Oops, wrong button. Alright, this. Oh, you can't throw this out. Okay, this. This. Oh, you can't throw this kind of weapon out. Interesting. Well, let's see what else could we throw out. I guess the spear isn't that good. I just want to make a, like, a raw damage weapon, you know? Oh, why do I keep doing this to myself? There we go. Let's throw that out. Let's grab the claymore. Then let's uh, get that new material. Soldier Construct Horn 2. Grab this. Fuse it. With this. Now we got a super powerful weapon, but it does. Actually, 16 damage. Hmm. I thought it would be better. Let's just start wor working on getting these weapons out of our inventory. 
because we need to carry more melee weapons. Although, I don't understand why I picked it up. Didn't really need to. Anyways, let's cook some food because we are running low on stuff. And also make some elixirs as well. So, chill shroom cooks. Stay cool. So, this is for later in the game, but we might as well cook some up. Cook. Skip. Chili mushroom skewer. Awesome. Let's cook this Sunday lion. So we can have some. Yes, the store is hard damaged by the gloom. Pulls the Fenya. Let's see, is it a fire fruit? That doesn't make anything bomb fruit. Spice peppers make stuff. I'm not gonna even bother with any fancy recipes at the moment. Let's just try to get the most out of what we can. Wild berry. It's it doesn't have any special but it's it's a popular cooking ingredient. Okay. So rock salt, star fragment, medicinal plant, heat resistance. Let's cook something with heat resistance. This would be a weaker version of heat resistance. Plant that grows in quiet areas, so this is a silence kind of thing. Good. Stealth up. And then we got this, which we're not going to cook with mushrooms. I could have told we had more cooking ingredients. But we really don't have that much more cooking ingredients than we had before. Interesting. Now there looks like there is something down there. Is that another robot? So I guess robot camps exist. And I thought they were rare, but they're really not that rare. It's good to know. Okay, let's get our frost weapon out. Let's start making sure that we break the durability of this sword with the sapphire attached to it. And then we'll just swing. Oh, watch out! Oh, that was terrible. Anyways, what we're gonna do here is swing. Boop! There we go. I wanna try to get rid of this weapon. I know we just made it, but it's pretty weak. Okay, you're, you're gonna do the spinny thing. Okay, you're a spin bot. Got it. Well, that is one advantage to this. There we go. Now you have no weapon. Are you serious? Back to this. Are we? So this weapon is basically like the wands. In Breath of the Wild. So does that mean every single gem has like an element to it? Except for, of course, Amber. Which didn't do anything. Or did it? Maybe it did something, we just don't know. Yeah, I'm literally not gonna pick up that. Here's another opportunity to make a wheeled vehicle. But should we make a wheeled vehicle? Is the real question. I don't think we should. So let's, instead of making a wood vehicle, it's not. Ooh, there's a bunch of sky islands up there. Ooh, there's a house. Oh, good, because I've been. Wait, the Bokavas have taken over. Oh no. Should we try out the homing shot? Nah, let's just get a normal fire fruit. And just go like this. And get ready to taste. Pure fun. Okay, let me make sure that we have something really good. See, I really like the wand. It barely does any damage, but it's good to pair with other weapons. I see why you would make it. Despite it barely doing any damage. Ooh, red choo-choo jelly. It should be something that comes from the fire choo-choo. It consistently gives off heat. If struck, it'll explode in a ball of flame. Cool, we can make a fire weapon with that. White jelly shield. Interesting. We should probably throw out some old shields. Like this one. Let's just pick up this one because it has a special property to it. Let's also equip it, too. So this one... 
Does it freeze enemies on attack? If that's the case, then we should really combine our shields with elements. Because if we could make a... Actually, a shield plus fire would be good. Huh. Doesn't this rock, these rocks look a little suspicious? Huh. Okay, never mind. They are not suspicious. Okay, I hear a bat. Ooh, in the shrine right there. We gotta get that shrine. Why do I hear a bat? Okay, that's just Link's footsteps. Apparently, I'm just paranoid. This looks like one of those caves. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. It's an enemy cave. Discovery. The Tabantha Hills Cave. Tabantha Frontier. Let's pick up this. Look at that. Wait, we can't climb up here. It's too icy. That's going to be an issue, isn't it? Amber. Nice. We might be able to climb up there. If I equip the, your climbing gear. Okay, we already have the climbing gear equipped. So if we just continue on. Or we could sneak around it like this. Climb from the side. And then transition. That must be the puzzle that we need to do. No, although it's not really much of a puzzle. But this is going to be the first icy cave that we explore. That's cool. There we go. Bright bloom seeds. Giant bright bloom seeds. Bomb flowers. Ooh, we probably need to use bombs. In order to break the ice. Nope. Bombs don't break the ice. But we could probably melt the ice, right? What if we, like, made a fire arrow? I got real close to it. No, the ice is too resilient to melt. Oh. I might accidentally cause a cave-in. Oh, there's a bull bullfrog. Hello. Dude, this one is tough and resilient. Okay, it looks like we actually need to climb up there. Oh, we actually won. Whoa, what are you? Okay. I was not expecting you. Okay, are you gonna slam down? Oh, it's one of the cave creatures. I was like, wait a second, have I? Whoa, what are you? Well, I wasn't expecting to get ambushed right now. I just got hit by an enemy having... Okay, I got hit by a rock. For some reason, in my vision, I saw a completely different enemy. Let's start eating all these frozen stuff. I think so. Okay. So what's the plan here? I guess what we should try is freezing them. Okay, we got a direct shot, but we also got hit ourselves. Uh-oh. There we go. Got the flurry rushing. Although, I think we may have been using a weak weapon. Yeah, we were. But luckily, we could just freeze and get rid of you. Nice. Blue Corbin Horn. A hammer shaped horn with spiky bumps. Attach it to a weapon to moderate increases attack power. I'm glad that's honest. Wait, why am I taking damage? Oh, there's another one. There's another Horblin. I'm sorry, I didn't notice you. Okay, let's get our bow ready. There we go. Now you should fall off and disintegrate. Nice. It's treasure time. Okay. I wonder if these weapons are better. Nope, they are not. Although another spear weapon would be good. But honestly, I need to stop being greedy with weapons. Because I don't really need them. Ooh. This is probably going to be useful. Some luminous stones. Ooh, Luminous Stone. I remember that Luminous Stone was worth a lot. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Now, as for this, what's the real puzzle here? Is it trying to get up there by climbing, or is it using a friend? 
Of course he's using Ascend. We all know I'm really good at that. That's it. Take Rat and Giant Bloom, Rat and Bloom, Light Bloom. Anyways, let's see what we got. Soldier's Claymore Spear. Only does 12 damage. Why would I pick it up? Soldier's Spear. Actually, it's better than the Reaper. We should get rid of that Reaper. Yep. He's had it for such a long time, but we should just get rid of it. Drop. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.